I hope you'll enjoy these selections that the Concert and Chamber Choir have chosen for tonight. Our last tune was What a Wonderful World, and it was um, created actually in the 60s to cut through the racial tension. And it's funny, it didn't do really well here in the United States. It wasn't promoted very well. It hit number one right away in the UK, and it was even in the top t uh, 20s in Italy in 1970. But here, it didn't hit the charts until 1980. Uh, and it had gone on notice for two whole decades. Two whole decades. Um, it was recorded by Louis Armstrong, and now it's recognized as one of the iconic standards. Our next piece is Waves, and it's sung by the Australian artist Dean Lewis. It, it's actually, it doesn't seem like it, but it's actually about getting older and how things can seem a little less exciting as you get a little bit older and more experienced. You don't have those, well, maybe you do, but you know those really exciting things happen like you guys get to have right now. No, I can charge
talked about that with um, What a Wonderful World just a little bit ago. But Blue Skies was kind of the same thing. Blue Skies was actually written by Irving Berlin in 1926. And it wasn't typical, but it made its debut in a musical by Rogers and Hart. And normally Rogers and Hart would have written their own lyrics and their own um, music for their musical. But they were desperate. They needed one more tune. And it was in a musical called Betsy. And the musical did not succeed. It ran 39 nights and then it closed. But Blue Skies has been recorded and recorded and recorded, and it's a jazz standard to this day. Your sky is your 
Um, it's called Walking on Sunshine. Vocal solo, vocal duet, double quartet. 
Dr. Allen, vocal duet. Lucas Simon, vocal solo double, tri double quartet. Mia Mendoza, vocal solo triple trio. Nadia Benson, vocal solo triple trio. Mercedes Ladd, vocal solo. Julia Odor, vocal solo, vocal duet, triple trio, double quartet. Hannah Kell, vocal solo, vocal duet, triple trio. Bryce Jurgensen, vocal solo, uh, vocal duet, double quartet. You could be in front of me, I'm not that important. All right, uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, did I do Gabby? Gabby Shuck, vocal duet, triple trio. Aleli Trevino, vocal duet, triple trio. Joseph Capra, vocal duet, triple trio. Fee Woods, triple trio. Emma McNulty, triple trio. Courtney Lucier, vocal duet, double quartet. Siri Hyatt, vocal duet, double quartet. Alora Garibaldi, double quartet. Brayden Brown, double quartet. Now I was talking there for a minute. Did I miss anybody, you guys? Because I was talking and I lost my mind. Okay, can we give these guys a big round of applause? Award. 
And this one goes to a student who is dependable and who um, volunteers to help. Actually, usually with this one, I'm like, will you do this? Um, and, but they go unnoticed by a lot of the other choir members. They don't always, uh, the other people don't really realize how much work they put in. Um, the student is often fixing things or running to my car to get something, even though they dropped my car key in six inches of snow this year and had to shovel to find it. Um, but uh, I want to thank Tyler Boss. A plaque will hang in your choir room with the name and grade for posterity, and I'll be sending you home with an extra hand.
The Wisconsin School Music Association, uh, Association also holds auditions for an honor choir um, every year in February. And it's quite an extensive audition, it's a lot of work. And in April, we found out that Julia Odor was selected in the Wisconsin State Treble Honor Choir. Julia will attend a four-day camp in the summer in Green Bay to learn the music, and then she will continue on with the music until October when she goes to Madison to perform for the Wisconsin State Teachers Music Association teachers.
And it was inspired by a religious experience while he was traveling through Ethiopia. Ethiopia. He's quoted as saying, and to me, the most interesting thing about it is that you don't find it. It's about the search. Beautiful, and I have immensely enjoyed performing and rehearsing this piece with the group. 
and they're so talented and they're so kind. So I've been so fortunate to work with them this semester.
myself a ukulele and playing one of these community groups right by the library and playing ukulele. So, uh, but I couldn't get it down. And so Lucas was like, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> we just figured it out. It's amazing. Um, so I will try this name. Israel is Kama Kawiola. Like, oh, he recorded this version of Somewhere Over the Rainbow. And of course, it was first made popular by Judy Garland in 1938 with the movie The Wizard, uh, the Wizard of Oz. Um, so let's give Lucas a big hand. No matter. 